Welcome to Bears in Exile. Today is Friday, November the 2nd, and this is the weekend market overview. Looking at the Dow, SPX, VIX, TNA, UUP, FXE, uh, GLD, CompQ, GE, Apple, XLF, and, uh, and a few others. Oh, okay. So, today was not what I was hoping for, and uh, there's plenty to look at, so I'll get right to it. So, uh, starting off with the Dow down uh, almost 140 points. Whew. Totally destroying the nice day that we had on Thursday, and doing all kinds of little nasty things that we didn't really want at this moment. But uh, nonetheless, here's what we're looking at. Okay, we have the channel. We got back inside the channel yesterday. Yesterday we said we needed to make sure that it would stay in the channel. And unfortunately, it, uh, it just crapped out. And we knew that the daily was looking much better. And that the 60 minute was in need of a pause or a slight pullback. And the question was, was it going to be enough, uh, you know, to survive staying in the channel? And uh, when we look at the 60-minute, we'll see that better. But it had that pause, that sl that uh, pullback, and and then it just fell to pieces. So uh, very not what we wanted. But it was uh, we did have the uptick finished yesterday, one day uptick. Um, and we needed to see what it would do next, and unfortunately that's what happened. Uh, beyond that, what do we have to look at? Well, we have the MACD histogram still going up, so all is not lost. We do have the CCI, the RSI, uh, the MACD itself, and now the uh, slow stochastic turning down. They were up. The fast stochastic is still up. I think, or, or do I have the two reversed? No, I, I have them right. And the fast stochastic is still pointing up. And the 14-day RSI moving average is just barely clicking down. But uh, it is losing momentum. So, um, anyways. All is not lost for the bears. But uh, this sure put, or not, as all, not all is lost for the uh, bulls. But uh, uh, this definitely put a, a serious chink in their plans for you know going back up here somewhere um, yeah daily doesn't look that great we do have a new blip in the heat map for bottoming area it is early it is minor so could we have more to the downside of course we could but uh, we, we don't have a new recent low so that's uh, that's positive and uh, we'll see what happens looking at the 60 minute we know that it needed some yesterday. It needed some pullback. It needed some rest. And uh, today, yeah, it tried a, a little blip at the open. Didn't mean anything. We got the pullback. We got the rest. And then it, uh, it fell to pieces. So, um, mm. beyond that, what do we have to look for? Well, we can see the stochastics. They ran all the way to the top. Uh, that's when we knew uh, there should be some uh, some pullback. It was already moving down by the end of yesterday, and today it is finishing up its uh, its movement, um, or at least very close to finishing its movement. You can see the CCI very low, the uh, stochastics already getting low, um, the RSI just at the midpoint. Uh, bearish cross on the MACD, down on the MACD histogram. So yes, is there potentially more here? Absolutely. But uh, we can see, hopefully, that um, pretty fast it should run out of room. And we can see the uh, really dark blip in the heat map by the end of the day. It's not at the critical stage, but it's at a good stage. So um, the question will be, can it take out the previous lows before its movement is up. And it does have the whole weekend to reset sentiment. So um, Monday will be very, very interesting and very, very important. Uh, potentially you could have a higher low here and you already have a uh, new recent high. 
So, are the bulls finished? No, not yet. Not yet. But uh, close. Close. Be something to really watch come Monday. Moving on to SPX, it's more of the same with a couple of really key differences. For one, it did not take out the low from Thursday, which is, uh, which is good. We know that there is support at the bottom of big candles and at the midpoint. Of course, it took out the midpoint. It fell back outside of the channel, which is bearish, but uh, it's not the end of the world yet. Uh, we did have a slight blip in the heat map for top on Thursday. That has now worked itself off. We still have the stochastics moving up slightly and uh, down on the CCI, down on the RSI, but still going up on the MACD histogram and the MACD itself turning down slightly once again. Uh, this does look a little better than the Dow. And going on to the VIX. Okay. What can we get from this? We had a uh, uh, what looked like a really good tell on the VIX in that it had fallen back below its 200 day moving average. Uh, we did have the down tick resolve itself yesterday in one day. And uh, yeah, today was was really strong. But look at that. It didn't challenge the 200 day moving average. It didn't take out the top of the big red candle. Um, we did have a blip in the heat map from being it from it running down so darn fast. And uh, yeah, we still have it. So that's actually not good for the bears in that instance. But the 14-day RSI moving average still going sideways high. Uh, this one can turn down uh, over the next couple of days, in which case we know that um, we have at least a short-term top in, but uh, we still need a little more data. Uh, the stochastics are mixed. The CCI is going sideways. The RSI is going up. The MACD histogram is still slanting down, and the MACD is just going sideways. So uh, are the bulls finished? No, they are not. So uh, really impressive move today, though. And going on to TNA, small caps. These got blasted today, which I think is really, really interesting because... I mean, well, for one, you have a bullish engulfing, which, of course, is bad. But it's now sitting on the 200-day moving average once again, which has been support and has caught it this entire time. If it breaks, certainly that's a bad thing. Breaks that and uh, breaks the lower uh, channel line, doubly bad. But uh, two opportunities for it to be caught. And this resolves the problem that we had on Thursday's video, which was if we're going to have a run, we don't have too much room to move to the upside to the top of this channel. That is now fixed. Um, we have nothing in the heat map. We have most things turning down, uh, even the MACD histogram, unlike the Dow, unlike SPX. But we still have the 14-day RSI moving average holding sideways low. If this turns up, then uh, we should have some really good movement to the upside. Of course, we do have bad alignment with uh, most everything else. Um, we need more data. That's all there is to it. And the uh, scourge of the market today, UUP, the dollar. We've been tracking this one, tracking on every single video. We've talked about how many times it's been pierced, uh, closed above, closed at, etc., etc. We were expecting uh, for this to break down, or at least we were hoping that it would break down and just be a failure uh, against the, uh, the trend line, the channel line here. And instead, it gapped way up, way up. Now, on one hand, you would see this and say, oh, well, pff, we're off to the races. The dollar's going to be going up, and, uh, and it's all over. The bears are finished. Well, that is entirely possible, but there's some problems with this. For one, uh, anyone who's watched this video for a long time knows 
that getting through the long-term moving average bar, especially when it's established really well, uh, should be done the proper way, which is fighting your way through it. Instead, it gapped it. So uh, that's, in my opinion, a strike against it. It also closed right at the upper Bollinger Band. And yeah, it could just push it up and just keep on going. But uh, atypically, this kind of a move, and uh, it would have been better if it was outside of it, but uh, is not overly encouraging. Um, and now we have a double gap below us. We have this gap, big gap, and it uh, also has this gap right here, which uh, is partially filled today, but uh, the majority of it still exists below. So uh, gaps normally get filled, and double gaps, triple gaps, multiple gaps, etc., are stronger for getting filled. So um, just something, just something. We know that it's in resistance because of the long-term moving averages. We have a blip in the heat map for a top. Um, it isn't overly strong, but it is there. CCI massively high, 14 day RSI moving average holding high going sideways, stochastics either holding high or trying to get back inside, uh, RSI going up, MACD histogram going up, MACD going up, and we have negative divergence. Now that we have a new recent high, negative divergence. This can be busted, could be busted Monday, but uh, for the moment it does exist and that would take it back down to that line which uh, had been fought with so long and going on to USO oil when oil is bullish market is bullish we had the uptick yesterday and today making a new recent low initially you would look at this and say oh well then this is going to be a failed uptick we still have three days to complete. Certainly this uh, doesn't improve the odds, but uh, we now have a uh, better blip in the heat map for the bottoming area. Um, we still have the fast stochastic moving up. We have the CCI curling down, the RSI curling down, the MACD histogram ticking down, and the MACD going down. Overall, not uh, really encouraging in the indicators except for bottoming area and the heat map. Um, and I do think that there will be an attempt on uh, on the uptick target. Uh, it's going to be harder for it to reach it um, after today, but there's still three days. It can it can get some of it, if not all of it. So uh, we'll we'll see. But uh, yeah, not the best not the best uh, pattern here. Um, going on to Comp Q, the Nasdaq. Oof. Oof not what we want to see at the moment anyway <laughs> it is bearish engulfing it is getting back to the 200 day moving average um, it is getting back to a possible trend line here that's been ascending for a while it did catch it uh, these past few days and it's sitting on it once again there are two of them I'm not sure which one would be uh, absolutely correct but this one at the top seems to be pretty darn good we barely have a blip in the heat map from today we have disagreement with the stochastics we're moving down on the CCI and the RSI 14 day RSI moving average is going sideways low ticking up on the MACD histogram and barely down on the MACD itself overall yeah it looks it just depends on whether it can be caught here again or not. And uh, I just don't have an answer for that. It does look more bearish than bullish at first glance. But I uh, guess we will see. guess we will see. I certainly don't want another secondary reset at this moment before going with the 14-day on the way up. But uh, it is possible. So, hmm. And going on to GE, trying to get a better read on the Dow. Look how different this is. We um, had the bullish engulfing yesterday. It barely closed lower than yesterday, which, is, which isn't bad considering how much damage was done today, uh, point-wise. 
We still have the uh, uptick target. It was almost met today, but not quite. Uh, we still have a bottoming area in the heat map. We still have the stochastics moving up, the CCI moving up, the RSI ticking down, MACD histogram ticking up, and the MACD barely down. Uh, the fortune day RSI moving average is still pointing down, which we noticed noted yesterday. But uh, I don't think it'll take too much before that levels out. So uh, this is much, much better and would suggest that the Dow should not be as weak looking as it does. So that is encouraging. And going on to Apple, which I think really helped drag down the market. Um, we had a spinning top yesterday. We noted that we did not have an uptick. And evidently that was uh, something that was pretty much uh, a big key. It fell right through the 200 day moving average. We have a dark blip in the heat map for a bottom. Um, and everything moved down. Everything moved down. I don't know why um, this is getting hit so bad. And where is it now? Well, the bottom shadow of today's candle matches up with uh, the starting area of support from back here. So, is this a place where it could be caught? Yes. Um, it's gone through a few of them, but um, this is a pretty good place for it to, to catch. Uh, there is a little more room to the downside if it wants to get all the way to the bottom of this shadow. But uh, nonetheless, it's pretty darn close. Mm. Been nicer if we had had a, uh, uh, a volume surge, but, uh, but we don't. Uh, certainly higher than the last couple of days, but not as great as uh, Tuesday. Uh, moving on to JP Morgan, most important bank. This one's different too. You can see that uh, it didn't quite get to the midpoint of the big green candle from Thursday, which is uh, positive. Still have a topping area in the heat map, and uh, but we still have, for the most part, everything pointing up. 14 day RSI moving average, stochastics, CCI, MACD histogram. MACD is going sideways, RSI is going down, uh, but much better than uh, most other things today. So can this be caught? Yes. Yes, it can. And uh, that would be, of course, very positive. Um, after today, there should be just a load of shorts all over the place. And I just find it hard to believe that they will not be squeezed. Um, XLF, financials as a whole, very similar to JP Morgan, getting uh, right to the midpoint of the big green candle and uh, closing at it. How about that? It did pierce. It did pierce, but it closed right at it. So uh, can this be caught here? Yes, it can. Uh, working off a topping area in the heat map, most everything pointing up, with the exception of the RSI and the MACD itself. Histogram going up, 14 day RSI moving average going up, stochastics up, CCI up. Are the bulls finished? No, they are not. And GLD, why not? Oof, look at that. I didn't even look at this today. Um, gapping down, closing below the lower Bollinger Band, coming close to the 200 day moving average, not quite doing it. Um, and not stopping really at a particular place of anything to be caught. I mean, midpoint of this big green candle, but uh, overall, not much to speak of. We do have a blip in the heat map saying that there is a uh, strong possibility for bottoming in the very short term. Everything moving down, however. So, um, but we do have a volume surge. Very interesting. So, um, when gold is going up, the market normally does pretty good. And, yeah, it's not, uh, didn't do good today. <laughs> Thanks to the dollar. Um, is there anything else I can look at? Um, no, I guess that's about it. So, Monday, critical, day before the election. Maybe people will just uh, stay out 
until the election is over. Maybe they'll get in. I have no idea. But um, interesting. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you very much.